What's up everybody? Bonnie here, welcome back to another video. Today we're out here at Fort DeSoto Pier, we're on the golf pier, and we're gonna try to catch snook. Kelsey's never caught a snook before. Not yet. So we're hoping to get her first snook here at the pier. We're gonna be fishing with live bait. We're gonna cast net for greenbacks, and um, we might cut them up and use them as, a, as cut bait for maybe mangrove snapper too. We're not just gonna be targeting uh, snook. We'll take anything that bites, but mainly we're gonna be fishing with live bait and cut bait. All right, we're gonna try to get bait fish right over here. There's a lot of thread fins down here. Let it sink. That should be plenty for, uh, for now, at least. These are big pilchards and thread fins mixed in. Nice. That's snook candy. We're gonna have to, man, I almost wanna take these somewhere else, honestly. Let's do it. Where there are snook. Let's go. Oh, on it, on it, on it, on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my God, are you kidding me, right there? Maybe let him take it with the uh, circle hook. Don't set the hook on him. He'll run with it, just like he did with me. Oh. Different than, uh, than Jig. Just let him take it. Cause it's a big bait too. Oh, that's a big one. That's a bigger snook right there. Solid. He's about to take off with it. That's a big one. He's gonna take off. Oh yeah, baby. That's a solid snook right there, man. Now he knows he's hooked. It's been a while since I caught a snook. Looks like he wants to come this way. It's a beast. Yes, sir. That's a good one right there. It's probably a slot fish right there. Easily, but he's out of season, so we're gonna have to send him back. It's a good looking snook right there. That's probably 27 inches. Maybe 28, but not bad. Right, man, we spent all morning looking for bait. We pulled up to Fort DeSoto Pier thinking that it'd take us like 10 minutes to get bait over there, but that was not the case. Um, there were a lot of captains out there getting, uh, getting bait. The bait over there were well below the surface. For you to be able to get bait at Fort DeSoto Pier, the bait has to be popping on the surface of the water. But we finally got our bait at this location here. Uh, we're gonna go to our snook spot. Hopefully the snook are chewing. Looking forward to it, let's go. On it. There we go, first fish of the day. Target species right there, Ada. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That boy was hungry, man. I mean, he's not that big, but he's pretty decent. Probably 25, 26 inches right there. Oh yeah, let's bring him to the beach. Actually, we're gonna try to beach this guy here. Only got a 20 pound leader on. Let's see, let's see if we can beach him over here. Not a bad one there. First fish of the day. Solid. Let's get him unhooked and uh, back in the water, man. It's probably, uh, it's probably 20, 20, 23, 24, 23 inches. All right, let's put this, uh, let's put this guy back in the water. Send him off his way. See you. So what these snook are doing right now, they're just staging up for the, uh, waiting for the tide to be changing. Yesterday I came out here with my girlfriend, try to get her on her first snook. We got so close, man. We had one come up and uh, popped at her bait. It was on it for a second, but it got away. She couldn't make it today, so we're gonna have to bring her here again so she can try to catch her, her first snook. She's never caught a snook before, so it'll be a special day for her. The snook bite has been super slow, man. Um, the, tide, the tide is switching right now. That might be the reason why they're not around and they're not biting. 
But I've been seeing a whole bunch of really nice sized sheep's head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a tackle shop, pick up a few dozen uh, fillet crabs, bring them back here, and hopefully we get onto some really nice sheep's head. We just got back to the spot with a few dozen live fillet crabs. Check this out. Look at all the fillet crabs there. These are solid size fillet crabs. Look at that, man. They're all nice. Three dozen. Hopefully the sheep's heads are uh, still chewing. Let's send our first crab down. That should be money, hopefully. Let's see it. It's a good one, good sheep. Oh yeah, about time, man. It's a keeper right there. First one. These guys are so finicky sometimes, man. Wow, they're all over, like really big ones. Oh no, I lost them right there. All right, that's all right. There's plenty of them out there. Oh yeah, got them. About time. I stuck that one really good, man. That's a nice sheep head right there. It's a nice one. That's a nice one. Um, I can fly, I might be able to flip them. <laughs> Look at Dude. that. That's a solid sheep right there, man. About time. That is what we've been looking for right there. That's a solid, probably 15 to 16 inch sheep's head right there. Good fillets on him. We're gonna bleed him, throw him in the box, and um, we're gonna try to get on some more. Ever since I started bleeding my sheep's head, I've been wanting more and more sheep's head. They're tasty. Bleeding them definitely makes a huge difference. These guys have been so finicky, man. I think I went through probably a dozen crab just to get this one right here, because these guys here are bait thieves. You can't even feel them bite sometimes. But we got this guy here, solid first sheep's head of the day. Let's try to get on some more. Another good one here. Oh yeah. About the same size as the other one. Oh, he swallowed it. Look at that, he inhaled it. <laughs> They're on fire, fill a crab. Really? Yeah, fill a crab. Look at that, guys, another solid sheep. All right, let me show you guys where I like to hook the crab. I like to go from the bottom and then out on his side like that, along with the legs. He might be a little smaller. Oh, I got this guy on the head. No, he's he's got a bite mark on him, though. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this, he's got a bite mark. That's a fresh bite mark on him. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna throw this guy back. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, bite mark right there. Probably from a dolphin try to eat him or something. There was, there was a lot of dolphins around earlier, so that's, that's my guess, so let's put him back. That's a, another decent one right there. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. I don't know about you guys, man. I have fun catching sheep's head. Yeah, <laughs> I just get lucky. This is our third sheep's head of the day. We're probably just gonna catch one more and then the rest is gonna have to be catch and release. Four is uh, plenty. One more and then um, we're just gonna do catch and release on them. That's a really nice size fillet crab right there. I'm amazed. I mean, every single one of them in the bag are like solid size fillet crab. Usually when I get fillet crabs, they're super small, like smaller than my, my thumb. And it makes it a lot easier to cast because we're free lining, we're not, not using any weights, so. That helps a lot. Here's one. Stuck him real good that time. That's another keeper there. Another nice one. Oh yeah, that's it. That's our fourth sheep's head of the day. We're gonna be doing catch and release. We're gonna use up all the crabs we have. And then um, we might go for snook later. We'll see. I haven't been seeing snook um, before the tide started moving, I was seeing a whole bunch of snook, but ever since that tide changed, I haven't seen a single snook out there. So hopefully they start showing up later. There it is. There's one, another one, a little bit smaller. Oh yeah, not a bad one there. That's a keeper, but we're not keeping them. We got plenty. Oh yeah. 
Pretty cool. Let's put him back. There it is. I don't know what that is though. Oh, no way. That's a trout? Wow, look at that. I thought it was a snook. I did too. But I saw you first. That's a, that's a good trout, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good trout right there. Good deal. Let's put this guy, let's go, let's go put him back down here. That's a solid trout right there. When you hit it, I thought it was a snook. That's so cool. That's a pretty good size right there. It's like 18, I want to say 18, 17, 18 inches. But we got plenty of sheep set in the cooler. We're gonna let this guy back. See ya. Before I close out this video, I just wanna go over the rod and reel combos I was using for today. Let's start off with the heavier outfit here. This rod here is a Chris Green's custom rod. It's a 10 to 20 pound class rod. Um, perfect for throwing big baits like big pilchards and big mullet. Throwing half ounce jigs, you know, big swim baits. This is a perfect outfit for that. It's a seven foot two, which I like because it's right in between seven foot and um, seven six. It's not too stiff like a seven foot and it's not flimsy like a seven, seven, six. It's just right. The action on it is just perfect. I have it paired up with the Shimano Accent size 4,000. I wanna say 24 pounds of max drag. Plenty to stop those big fish um, on the beach. If I would have hooked onto a really big snook, I would have been able to stop them with this outfit right here. 15 pound braid, um, 20 pound leader and a size Tuat Mutu Light Circle Hook by owner. This outfit here is what I use to catch the sheep's head. The rod here is a Shimano Zodia 7 foot medium light. It is super light. As you guys saw, I was able to throw filler crabs with no weights at all. Super sensitive. Have it paired up with the Shimano Accents size 3000. 10 pound Andy Black Braid and um, 20 pound Yuzuri 4 carbon leader. Uh, we were running the Gorilla Light size one on this when we were targeting uh, sheep's head. Those are the two rod and reel combos I was using in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.